back to another episode of Last Day Out of Survival. Today, we return, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there, Mr. Survivor. How are you? I need a shower. That's what I need. But we return, and today, we got a whole ton of amazingness going on, including what will be an absolutely massive unboxing going on today. That is right. Keep your hopes up, boys. This is about to get exciting, but before we even dive into that, and the winner of this past week's weekly giveaway and a raid, so much going on, we do need to go to the chopper because I have an oath, I swore a solemn oath, that I will go to every chopper event in existence at the faint chance we get a scuba mask. That hasn't happened yet, so let's just dish out some pain and destruction upon those who dare oppose us and make sure that we don't die in the process of dishing it out. Listen, a master chef has got to be able to prepare his dish magnifique. Luckily for me, I am as magnifique as it gets. And ooh, actually getting a couple of solid rifles from here. So we're just gonna grab a couple of things, go on home, get to doing this massive opening, then announcing the winners of the weekly giveaway in just uh, a little bit later in this video. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, every week we do a weekly giveaway. All you gotta do to enter is make sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure you make sure you are subscribed and make sure to like the video and that will once enter you in to $25 at Tuesday's Play Store gift card giveaway. Y'all can enter on every last day on Earth video. Today's gonna be the first one for this week. And then after that, y'all will be able to enter on all future ones as well. Not too shabby stuff we're getting here. I think that's about it. We are a little bit hungry, a little bit thirsty. So maybe I'll get some food off these dudes before we dip on out. But uh, yeah, then when Saturday rolls around, I'll pick a random video from the past week, a random comment from that random video. And that will be the winner. It'll be announced. In a week, just like today, he'll be messaged today, and as soon as you message me back, I will get them goodies to you. And because I've seen some people, like, I've, in some comments, it's like, oh, stores giveaways are fake. Uh, boom! Here's literally me messaging the last four weeks of people and getting them their codes. So, uh, no, it isn't fake, because why would a favorite fantastic person like me ever try to do something so scummy and so negative like that? That would literally go against every single thing that I am, like, all about from everything that I do in videos, like, but I did want to provide proof just for the doubters out there that, hey, I would not cheat y'all like that. I, it's legit. Best of luck to y'all and congrats to the winner who will be announced a little bit later in today's video. And while we do go and drop off a couple of these goodies from the shop, we're also going to try to make a pit stop by the bunker. We are going to be able to open up the yellow and green tickets from there, buts, 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 it is time to get through a little bit of the openings. If you do the math, we have over a hundred crates that we need to open, including mainly a lot of pack for stash makings. Uh, so the situation, how these are dished out, uh, the 15 packs for unlockings and 39 packs for stash making, I literally just got along with the coins you can see in the upper left hand corner. But uh, the other packs here we've had, we have had for a while, Kafir sent them to me uh, a little while's back. I just never opened them because I haven't needed them, but honestly, dude, today for doing a massive unboxing perfect timing if you ask me and if, if you might ask how i managed to get all of these packs for myself and all these coins for myself it's actually through this awesome app known as app zone link to that will be at the top of the description for y'all to check out if you do want pretty much because of that and if you guys do check it out i am partnered with them so uh you guys checking out also does help me get more gift cards which i then use for stuff like the weekly giveaways which i then use also for making sure that we can unlock this type of stuff that we have the coins just non-stop be going on raids that type of jazz and hopefully just making my videos absolutely as awesome as possible for you guys as awesome as possible as can be and hopefully you get a safer military box man that's i would kill for that but uh yeah you guys are very helpful in that and it's honestly like you guys play a huge part into me trying to make a hey! not too shabby into trying to make absolutely the best videos imaginable best videos possible for you guys and just action pack them with everything that can be packed into said action and 10 packs in man things are looking good but with absolute pretty much what it is is you can actually get points and get free gift cards for just playing games but it's not like all you have to do is like you can legit find one game that you like and every five minutes of you playing that game you will actually get points towards getting a free gift card so it's honestly the perfect compliment it's the last day on earth because if you're like let's just say you got an hour to kill you're like all right but you're out of energy and you're on like a 30 minute walk and last day on earth well i'm not gonna go be productive for those 30 minutes are you kidding me i gotta go procrastinate all the tons of homework i have to do so instead i can just play a little something on the app zone app earn a little bit of the moolah which i can then use in last day on earth so it's like a win 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 a triple win whammy boys 
that's just a little too much but they just want to put that out there and uh disclose that i am partnered with them so again this does support me if you are doing that but uh without not without with that said less a focus on the packs for stash making here who again just utterly utterly utter 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 like a freaking cow utterly disappoint us with just non-stop disappointment. This is absolutely tootalutely poopy because we've gotten like one very rare item out of like the 25 packs we opened. I had 39 because I accidentally opened one. Don't worry, I got like a stack of grass out of it. Although grass isn't the worst thing in the world. You can use it towards making some chests, but also you can literally get grass from the grass, like from the earth that we walk on. So it's also not crazy and Wow, this might actually be absolutely awful. We are uh, starting off to not the hottest start. Maybe we'll finish it off. Like our, our luck has been really good with other packs, but every time we do a pack for stash making, our luck just goes straight down the pooper. And right now, dude, I don't even think our luck was able to get to the pooper. All right, I think our luck literally pooped while we were running to get to the pooper. Like, this is just awful. Like, at, at least we got five steel plates, but... For 39 packs for stash making, man, the odds are not in our favor today. That I must say, oh man, maybe, maybe we could get the buzzer beater. Maybe the final one for the climax for, oh, uh, well, maybe, 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 wish me luck. Yeah, no. Well, there go 40 packs for stash making. At least those are like one of the cheapest packs though. And they do have some of the best rewards if you get lucky in terms of like cost to reward like we also as you guys can see here nope i want to do that uh, we do have a couple of packs for unlocking it's not as many because they do cost twice as much and the main thing that we can get out of them that is good is actually the c4 and the vs it actually has an iron hatch it low key actually does have a lot of stuff uh so we got a couple of these and also because uh we can hopefully knock out a couple of things to go on this quest for the uh raiders raid because we do need to finish their quest line and whatnot so we can get a couple of hatchets from opening this up which is always nifty and maybe if we're lucky we'll get the c4 and we can just grab that out of the inbox and that'll count towards the quest but Given our luck with the extremely rare, I'm a, I'm a not count on that. I'm a count on disappointment and wow, not even, we're probably not even gonna get a very rare out of this either, dude. Not even an A, like a VSS would be pretty dope. An AK would be meh, but I mean, at this point, anything would be dope because we've gotten 10 steel plates out of the, yeah, out of like the 50 packs we've opened at this point. We've gotten 10 steel plates. That is the special stuff that we're taking them. Special stuff, of course, being like the three kind of like special items with the color rarity associated with them uh that that's about all we got and wow so of course the packs i buy apparently have the worst luck in the freaking world but who would have thunk man everything that i do is always the unluckiest in the world except for that one random time where everything just goes right like me and grenade launchers dude if you guys have been watching for a while you know that me and grenade launchers have this odd like magnetic field I'll, I'll take it i guess but yeah me and grenade launchers dude back when there were packs where you could get grenade launchers out of them every time we got a guaranteed grenade launcher it was really strange and really weird but with that we have blown through over half of that stash let's blow through the rest then shall we and maybe we can redeem ourselves with like a minigun all things considered dude i wouldn't be too salty with the minigun we only have one minigun that we managed to steal from a raid back at home currently actually we do have a second one but that one is almost completely just totally busted it's got like barely any durability left but i am keeping it on oh okay on the off chance that it is used in the recipe for crafting up a turret an auto turret to defend our base because it looked like it was part of the leaked recipe uh, that you would need to put in one minigun so potentially it could be useful and I mean it's just a really rare item so even if it's almost broken it's worth hoarding even just for the value of it but if if our luck's bad maybe we'll try and uh, go on a raid first see if uh, maybe the raid will give us some better luck and then we'll finish opening up the rest of our packs after the raid like we're doing okay in terms of shotguns and stuff here but like that's not what we want to do okay with I want to do okay with miniguns I want to do okay with the good stuff man Although I really can't complain about all the shotgun rain that we are acquiring. Oh, there will be pain and it will be felt. Not by us though, and definitely not from the minigun, because that's another disappointment right there, so that's okay. Uh, we still got right around 
a little over 30 packs. Why don't we leave that and uh, do that after this raid? Because by the looks of it, we are not going to the beginning the C4. Uh, we didn't get anything special like safes or uh, military boxes, which would have been amazing because currently that's, I think, the only way of getting them in the game for real. I hope that Kafir changes that. I am like, I think everyone feels the same way, but Kafir really has to make a way for us to get to the uh, military box and other stuff in uh, in the, not other, uh, the safe, because currently I think you can only get them out of the uh, box, which is kind of, eh. I hope they do add in a way for us to get them in a different method, but uh, why don't we grab a couple of those hatchets, not just for the quest, but also because it will come very in handy for the raid. The problem with doing this pack unboxing, though, is uh, this is a very, very first world problem. Don't get me wrong, but we just get a metric poop ton of, like, stuff in our inventory here, like Spike Devastators, Glocks, and I, I'm, I'm not complaining. I'm just slightly complaining because it just means we got more to scroll through. But again, like I said, it's like the ultimate first world problem, so I'm not, I'm, I'm not complaining too hard. But uh, let's just go and breeze through these. We're almost at 80 reputation with this guy, which would be awesome. It would also be awesome if we could complete this stupid C4 quest, like... I hate that we have to get a new C4 every time. I wish they changed it to like, as long as you have a C4 in your inventory, because that makes sense. Like, why does a raider need you to get a new C4 for every raid that you go on? Because this is what this quest is supposed to do. It's supposed to like, quote unquote, prove that you're ready to go raiding. Well, if I, like, I don't need, why would I need to get a new C4? The old C4 is not faulty, man. That thing still works just fine. I should, I should just need one C4 in my inventory to be good to go with that, in my opinion. Like, the iron hatchets are reasonable. This one, that's like we have to get 25 chests and red zones. That's okay. This one's okay, too. This one's really annoying because you have to go uh, to the dealer, like, three times, and the dealer only pops up once a day, which is just bleh. And you need to do trades with them, and you can't contact them, so you have to run to the dealer, see what he wants, run home, get what he wants, go back to the dealer, give him what he wants, and then go back home, a.k.a. the most, like, unnecessary process in existence. But we're gonna go organize the inventory a tad we bit and uh, take things from Za. All right, so here's the situation. We're actually going to be putting our green and yellow tickets away. Like I said, uh, we'll definitely try and go to the bunker, though, should time permit, which in all honesty, uh, it should, so we can go and get a couple of extra unboxings along the way. This is just the episode of unboxes, boys and girls. We doing packs from the store. We doing the bunker. We unboxing other people's chests straight out of their base. It's just every type of unbox imaginable. And honestly, in, in the midst of all of this epicness and unboxing mania, unboxing frenzy, what a perfect, what a magnifique time for us. Hold on, where's the base? There it is. Beast mode. I woke up in beast mode. Oh, we should put away that AK. But while we are doing that, I did just want to announce the winner of this past week's giveaway. So the randomly chosen video from this past week was when we were talking about the new Chinese New Year weapon that we got our hands on, the Guangdao. I believe it is pronounced along with an awesome engine part raid that we went on. And the randomly chosen video, not the random, the randomly chosen comment from this video is from my man Jetman123456. And Jetman one two three four five six seven who's saying thanks for making LDOE videos. No man, thank you for watching them and hopefully legitimately being able to put a smile on your face. No need to thank me. I need to thank you guys for allowing me such an amazing privilege of hopefully bringing smiles and spreading some of this gift card of cheer as well to all of y'all. So congrats, my man. You have been messaged over in your YouTube inbox. If you don't know how to get there, there will be a link in the pinned comment or in the uh, what you call in the description so you can actually go ahead and click on that look for my message reply and just let me know if you want android and ios but huge congrats to you and sorry everyone who did not win but with every winner we also have the new weekly giveaway which we already discussed so best of luck to all of y'alls in the new weekly giveaway make sure that notification bell as well if you haven't done it so already so you know when every new video is up you don't miss one and especially because very soon that update 1.7.5 is supposed to be coming out and for your guys's comments into this or for you for guys this comment for the entry into this video if y'all i'd love your guys's ideas for 1.7.5 what you want to see from it what you're expecting from it any and all of that jazz because i am so excited to see what it contains and uh hopefully it will be good and wowzers boy we got quite the nifty little base going on here and a random outcrop of like level one floors on the ground too but interesting stuff okay okay well let's see if this thing has anything first off it does not okay well 
It does look like it's the biggest base in the world, so that's actually a good sign, because usually, like, uh, the bases that you end up raiding, I feel like the more reputation you get, the better stuff that there is overall in the base. So I feel like there's going to low-key be some pretty uh, Fuego stuff up in here, which I'm pretty excited for. And a good way of telling, too, is maybe open up the motorcycle, and wow... He might actually have some engine parts stored away at this point, boys, because, uh, well, it's not in his chopper, which is where he should have put it. And there's not really anything else that he should be investing engine parts into. He's got some level two walls, like, surrounding his base. Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying, this could be, uh, some pretty good potential. So without further ado, let's begin the break in, in process and, ooh. Got some stuff here, and of course the central area where we are gonna have to break through an entirety of one of our level two hatchets. That's okay though, will be worth because on the other side of this doorway there should be the real goodies. Now, the question is will chest, which chest will have the goods that we want? I don't think out here we'll have the goods because this is surrounded like level one walls. Just human nature, you know, you wanna surround your best stuff in the best walls you can. So I'm guessing that one of these will have that which we seek. This, this box right here in the center, it's suspicious. It's giving me the eye. Well, I'm gonna give you the open there, Mr. Chest, and hopefully cross your fingers for me, boys, that we get a little bit lucky and get a whole ton of wood. Exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Santa Claus, how did you know? How did you know I wanted it two months late too? I don't know how we knew, but he did. He did. Maybe we'll try opening up all the trunks then and hoping that, oh, wow, just a bajillion backpacks. All right, ain't hoping for nothing out of there. And we get to deal with these guys. This is exactly what I was hoping for. A whole ton of zombies that I obviously want to deal with. And floater bloaters, don't forget those. Don't tell me we're about to get total duds on our chest openings too. Dude, if we get, if we just, if we bomb this raid and we bomb all the unboxings too, that will be a, uh, that'll be a dark timeline, but let's open up this trunk. Maybe this will have something better. Like, maybe not just a ton of backpacks. Uh, maybe uh, a single wrench. That's, that's okay. Like, I used to really love wrenches back when I barely had any. Now that we're up to, like, seven stacks or so of them, I definitely get slightly less hype when I only see one. If I see, like, maybe half a stack, that's a different story, dude. That's still quite the plethora of wrenches, but right now... Ay, 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 uh, We gotta deal with these guys, too. Uh, honestly, we should go on auto, because this thing is about to break. We're gonna want to switch on over to that thing to do the finishing touches on some of these boys, and we probably need to... Oh. And all right, boys, literally the worst thing imaginable happened. Uh, my phone totally ran out of storage space, so in the middle of the fight, I, like, I don't know, dude. I, like, I had to go close out. Like, I had to go delete some stuff out. Like, I had to delete some photos and delete some videos from my phone. I came back. My dude had, like, seven health because he was still auto-fighting. Luckily, I got a heal off in time. And, uh, long story short, I shouldn't be alive. And luckily, we're still here. We didn't have to, like, leave the area and come back in because that usually does raise the noise meter. So that's good. But what isn't good is the total lack of good loot. Now, I have heard some people tweet at me and say that uh, supposedly what people do is they actually put their stuff away into uh, workbenches and some of these random things so no one who's raiding them can get the stuff because AI raiders actually... I'm pretty sure they do not open up any of these things. I thought Kafir said that they'd be changing that where they can, but... They currently don't check anything that isn't supposed to technically store stuff. Again, that might change. Don't get me wrong, but as is right now, that's currently how it's working, and currently it's leading to our freaking demise because it's not working well, man. It's just it's just not going in our favor. All we're getting is what? Like, where is the good stuff? You telling me it's down south, boy? I don't know about that. Like, maybe this maybe this guy legitimately just doesn't have anything good like he had one wrench over there just got a ton of grass stored up he's got lots of level two walls but like no, nothing to write home about here i'm not calling my mom like hey ma just found a big old pile of wood and then my mom would hang up on me and excommunicate me never talks to me again it, it just doesn't like i think we literally got the worst raid possible like, this, this is so tra- Like, whatever, dude. Like, I, I'll just take a massive stockpile of wood. Screw it. I might as well put this to use building up some more level 2 walls and more stuff. And also take some normal wood. Because right now, we ain't getting much better than this. Just as I was talking about how the loot gets better as you raid more. Uh, this happens. So, that's just, uh, that's great. That's just, that's so great. So great. So great. 
it's not great boys it isn't maybe yolo maybe we raid one of these see if it has anything i doubt it man this definitely isn't where the good stuff is but it's definitely not in that other room either oh wow this good stuff might actually be here there's a chance oh no i forgot to get a weapon oh all right boys we might be going fisticuff style here float like a butterfly sting like a bee we also got to be a one-man army so uh wish me luck this is not gonna end well we need to kill a lot of things there's a lot of toxic abominations coming this did uh i i, I remember i told myself i was gonna go and grab a silenced weapon that currently is not happening and i lost my shirt man they have stripped me naked of my shirt this is not good they're doing okay we're, we're way too naked we gotta run we gotta run we gotta run and uh this is really bad because this might raise the noise level it's where the big one pops up because every time you leave and enter the area the noise level goes up so literally this might be the worst raid we have ever done we had some pretty bad raids at the beginning of the raiding cycle too like there was some pretty poopy bases but nothing like this man this is like tossing poop into a fan and just watching it go everywhere it's a, it's a masterpiece of disaster <laughs> it's not good uh, luckily for us, we should have some armor and stuff. Like, I don't think we have any silenced weapons. We might have that silenced AK now that I think about it. If we go a wee, there we go. We got that. Oh, nose. Our inventory's full, so that's great. Um, you know, why do, like, we got a, uh, okay, we can just equip a hatchet. That works. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to grab this stuff one by one, equip it one by one, and, uh, long story short, all aboard the struggle bus, boys. There ain't no getting off this ride. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what? There is getting off this ride. You know what we're gonna do? I don't even need armor. I'm too good for armor. All right, unless the big one pops up, in which case I am not too good for armor and I'm definitely getting the hell out of Dodge. And also because we kind of don't have the inventory room because I accidentally got the AK first. And uh, <laughs> that means I didn't, <laughs> I was supposed to get the clothes first. Listen, it's early in the morning, man. Usually I record after school, right? Well, it's a Saturday. I ain't got school on this blessed day. And uh, it might not be going well for us. And dude, we honestly, we can open up like one more chest. Is it really worth wasting our AK for the rest of this stuff? Honestly, YOLO. Might as well. We might get some really good stuff. Who knows? And might as well check because, you know, it, it'll haunt us till the end of our days. Maybe we get lucky. Maybe we get something good. We probably exactly do the opposite of that. And we don't get anything good. But hey, might as well check. And it looks like these chests, like they got like, yo, like, oh, oh. I'll grab some gold. I'll grab some gold. You know, might as well. We don't have a lot of gold. Maybe it'll be valuables one day. Something like that. Uh, we're going to put this stuff away for just a sec so I can get this armor so we don't die from the big one. Because if you don't have any armor, he does uh, a, a little bit of damage. A solid 50. Half of your health. He just takes it away. Just punches you so hard in the gut. Your gut literally gets punched out of your body, man. We got the Superman punches getting thrown out here. That's no good. That's no bueno. I'm telling you that right now. You know what would be very bueno? Some frick, yeah, there we go. Some pants, some boots, and some protection. Cause uh, we got none of that. That's what happens when you try to enter a boxing ring with 10 different zombies, three of which are toxic abominations. They strip you naked and do a lot of damage to you. So uh, just word of caution to you guys there. Don't uh, don't be trying to engage into such shenanigans. And why? L let's see what's in here. I'm ready to swap out. Uh, we have way more wooden planks, honestly. Um, I'm ready to swap this stuff out for anything that's actually good. Uh, we're going hungry. That's okay. Cross your fingers. Maybe this is what holds the engine parts. I, if it does, it'll be worth it. Nope, not worth it at all. All right. Well, hey, big one. How you doing? Get out of your toxic abomination. I got to run before the big one gets to me. So uh, uh, most of our uh, two thirds of our unboxing to start was Trash. The raid was Trash. Will the last third of our unboxing be trash most likely will the tickets we spend to go over to the bunker and open that up be trash at this point probably uh raiders man these guys better not be expecting me to give them a whole ton of stuff because they just sent me to the worst base i have ever been to all right unless maybe the dude was hiding his best stuff in like his workbench and other things because apparently that's a thing that's a strategy that people utilize i don't know man that that might be poopy might be poopy for us so uh yeah i'm just kind of over here just kind of contemplating how our luck can be so bad like our luck's been bad it has uh it's never been this bad this is a whole new level of bad
It would've been funny if we came back, our base was raided. They broke into the level four walls somehow. Everything just got gone. You know where you're gonna stick your share? I don't know, dude, this is all I have. Stop being so picky. You sent me to the worst base ever. Like, don't, don't even give me that sass. No, unacceptable. I have to give this man a hundred wooden planks before he's like, oh, that, that's, that's fair. Yeah, that's fair. Like, no, no. That is not fair. That's a scam. We just got scammed by this dude. I'm going to go drink some water out of my frustration. This is... Dear God, man. You guys are literally watching a train wreck unfold in front of your own eyes. I don't care if I smell bad. Who cares if you smell bad? Our luck's already awful. Might as well have our smell match our luck. Uh, what was I looking for? A little bit of food. I think we got some jerky chilling up in one of these chests. They're gonna put away some of this stuff, grab the tickets, and hope that maybe things start to take a little bit of a turn for the better. Will they? At this point, I I don't know. Honestly, though, I mean, it, it was it was a pretty a little, we got we got one wrench out of it. Honestly, that's that's as, that's as good as we could realistically ask for. One wrench that that makes it worth it, if you ask me. One hundred and fifty percent worth it one wrench definitely like no no after getting a taste of what real raids can contain and the trash that we just got out of that i am not satisfied with such shenanigans and uh I, it's just it's just rough but let's head on over to the bunker see if maybe that has some redeeming qualities that end up a little bit better for us and if they don't well we'll we'll shed shed a couple tears in harmony maybe you got shed tears for me because this is definitely deserving of tears right now. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't running there. I'm, I, I, I ain't buying more energy. I, we got the gas, we got the fuel, and our motorcycle. And we're going to keep using that. And yeah, can this uh, Chinese New Year event happen? Because we, we might need a bit of a break from raids at this point because they have just taken a turn for as awful as possible. Holy, I still can't believe that that, that was literally. I, I'm just, I'm in, I'm, I'm shocked. That's all that I am. I, I, I think if I like walked out on the street and got hit by a car, I'm pretty sure technically speaking, that'd be luckier than what we've just witnessed. But let's set over here. Let's open up the code. If y'all don't know the code, the code for today, and you might be able to use this one a little bit longer than usual, since this episode should be going up a little bit earlier than usual, was what I just entered in two, five, three, nine, four. Let's head on in. Let's hope that our luck is good on the inside. And uh, if we get some weapon parts out of this, not weapon parts. No, 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 game. Don't get me weapon parts. Engine parts. That is what I see. If we could get some engine parts out of this, that'd be, that'd be enough redemption to make me happy. If not, I, I don't know. But I'm also ready to beat the bejesus out of some of these guys. So... That'll be good. Hello, flow like a butterfly, dude. I just had the most intense boxing training session in the world against like seven Mike Tyson zombies. So this fast fighter stands no chance besides the chance of guaranteed death. Oh, 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 oh dab on them haters. No, no, I, I would, I would never dab on them haters, man. Dabbing is so, that's so 2017. We gotta come up with the new version of dabbing. All right, and of course we got the worst possible thing we could. We got a pistol as the weapon. And we got no engine parts, and we're about to get poo-pooed by this thing too, probably. But we gotta come up with a 2018 version of dabbing. What could that possibly be? Uh, I don't know. Wow! Two pistols, no engine parts, I guess a chopper fork, but like, I have six of these, man, like, wow! I think this might be the unluckiest day in last day on Earth history because this is just, this is redonka donk, man. I just, uh, I don't know why. Wow. Just wow. Well, maybe the rest of these boxes would be a little bit nicer. I, after what we've witnessed, I don't know. I don't think we're getting anything good out of these, man. Like, <laughs> like I guess that, like that one box we were opening. Hey, redemption. Okay, fully modded AK. I could get behind that. This is like the only pack that's ever been good to us, dude. It's been good to us with like the first seven that we opened. It's being good to us now with like a fully modded AK. It's probably going to be good to us again. Actually, no, I probably jinxed it by saying that. So it's probably not going to be good to us. I just unjinxed it. But not. It's not going to be good to us at all on this time either. 
Ah, uh, dang. Okay, I, I'm, I'm trying to mess with the jinxes a little bit too much. Still though, dude, a couple of fully modded weapons that'll come in handy, especially when it comes to raids. Special forces packs are numero uno for that type of thing. Uh, let's open up some of these specialist packs. Like at least we're guaranteed like a wrench every four packs. Uh, yay. Wrenches, a single wrench, man. That's what that's what I lose sleep over. It's like, God, I didn't, I didn't get that wrench today. I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna live. I used to lose sleep over wrenches, but then, then we just started getting so many out of nowhere. They used to be rare. Don't get me wrong, man. I, you know that that's a fact, especially when a 1.6 came out and they were necessary for getting up north. Oh boy, was that a little bit of a struggle. All right, we got 20 boxes to go before we wrap on up with this 100, over 100 box unboxing can we get at least one engine part today you know we've tried so many days i like what i say thank you kindly oh a chop a gas tank would be cool too actually if you want to give me that mechanic no okay i don't blame you it's pretty hard to come across not gonna lie uh, we got one more though maybe another engine part no nope. okay hey dude whatever we got we got one engine part today that is slightly and when I say slightly, I mean very slightly redeeming, but still. Brings our engine part total in the inbox up to 37. I think we got right around 80 at home. No, I think we have like 60 or something actually. And maybe the assault pack will be kind to us with a couple of VSSs. Hold on, dude. The assault pack, now that I'm looking at it, this pack might be, ah, it's probably cheaper. That's why. I was going to say, because you, can, you have a very rare chance at a VSS in the, uh, and the new raid pack or whatever, that is the chance again win the C4 pack. I don't know. Right now, I just want I want something. Hey! Okay, okay. We had some redeeming qualities, but still. Definitely. Oh. Uh, it's getting there. If you want to give me a couple more VSSs, maybe I'll change my mind. But definitely for the amount of boxes we opened, the raid that we went on, the bunker boxes that we opened. We definitely did not get as much as we should have, especially... Mm, okay, dude, what is... What's going on? This is an extremely rare weapon. Why am I getting so much out of nowhere, game? I get it. I get it. You probably want to be like, oh, you, you, here you go. Make, make the boxes worth it. Nah, dude, you can't bribe me with VSSs. Okay, maybe you can bribe me with VSSs at this point, game. I don't know. We're giving... You told me a lot of VSSs and AKs today. This is very weird. I don't like- well, actually, I like it a lot. Oh, we didn't get one on the last one. Ah, in all honesty, we got a good amount of VSSs out of the assault pack. VSSs are very good guns. Yeah, look, scrolling through here real quickly, we- uh, There's a good amount of VSS kind of chilling throughout here, so that's good. What, I think we got like five VSSs, maybe. Out of, out of like 15 assault packs. Not too shabby, definitely on the shabby of the not too side. But so with that, that's a great point for us to actually go ahead and end this video off on before we try opening more stuff and just getting severely disappointed. But there you have it, boys and girls. Over a hundred boxes on the openy, the openy, openy, and a couple of VSSs richer, I guess. Not that, that was probably the peak right there at the end. That's slightly saved. That made me very very slightly worth it but still all those boxes was still ah i was expecting better but uh, that's gonna go ahead and wrap up uh, wrap it up for me for now huge congrats again to my man jetman one two three four five six seven jetman one two three four five six seven forwarded this past week's weekly giveaway on that uh new chinese new year weapon video that we did you've been messaged make sure to message me back let me know android or ios Best of luck to everyone in the new weekly giveaway. Best of luck in the 1.7.5 update when that drops. As soon as it drops, you know I will be covering it. So make sure to stick around, not just to enter on that video for the giveaway, but also to make sure that I can inform y'all of what y'all need to know. But best of luck join the Chopper Squadron as well. Best of luck in your raids and make sure they are not as hot garbage as mine were. And just overall, best of luck in having as fat freaking tastic of a day as possible. But that's going to do it for me for now. Thank you guys all time for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya.